What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel. And I desire stuff for my- Whoa. I desire stuff for Minecraft. What's going on? I'm underneath the Dragon Monument on the Craft Theory server. And, uh, who's behind me? Who's that rolling along? That's a new member. I think it is. Isn't it? No, that's Connie. Never mind. I was like, oh. I didn't know what his skin looked like. I didn't know what the actual skin of his, of his player skin would look like. I, I see him so seldom. Because I've been over on an island. I've been working on rails underwater. Above ground. Below ground. And it's raining. <laughs> ah! It's a never-ending uh, monsoon season here. Come on over here, Forrest, so we don't have to lay our heads in the mud. Some Forrest count. Um, yes, I'm on the Craft Theory server. And there's Arson. What's up, Arson? How you doing? Chilling. Killing. Minding my business. So I looked around and I couldn't believe this. I swear. I swear. Alright, I've been... <laughs> Enough, enough, please stop doing that, Diesel. No problem. Uh, I want to thank everyone. I got a bunch of new subscribers uh, this week. Put out a Besiege video. I was playing on it. That's, that game is dope. I'm going to be making some flying machines and some tanks. Her, her. There's a lot of them. I've been trading all day, getting emeralds like a boss. But what are we doing today, Diesel? Well, let me tell you. We are going to build the rail station. Hold on. Can I just turn down that weather? Her. Okay. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. We are going to build the rail station. And I got a little bit of it done already. Let's get out of the rain here a little bit. Now, the uh, rail station comes up from the water right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you're going to come up. And this is all going to be enclosed area. I want this to be a safe area so that nothing will spawn in here. Not even your mother. Unless she's coming to pick you up. Just messing around. But what I'm going to have over here is a little waiting area. Maybe with some TVs. Maybe a little mini bar. You know, because you're waiting for, your, uh, waiting for trains. Waiting for your train to come on in. Waiting for people to come and arrive. Who is throwing? What is? What the? There's Pixen. Hi, Pixen. What's up? Hey! Oh, I thought she threw me threw something at me. She probably did. Oh, she is. She's throwing me pork chops. Pork chop sandwiches. All right. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna eat that a little later when I get hungry. I got pork chops and carrots. Mm-hmm. So what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be an enclosed area. Of course, it's nether quartz, jungle wood, glowstone, and that's gonna basically go around the go where the corners are. Then, this is gonna be mostly open. I thought you said you wanted this place to be secure. Yes, I do want it to be secure. And will, I promise. But I want this to be a little open. Kind of like, I'm a big fan of the indoor yet outdoor uh, schemes and themes of, of houses. I'm a big fan of like how you want to go to Thailand. I, I've never been to Thailand, but I like the, the houses. <laughs> the, see, the everything is kind of in the, uh, in the weather, in the elements. If you want it to or not, you have the air conditioning on, close the doors. You're good. But basically, this is all going to be open. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, this is going to be open. I'm going to have some modern scaffolding. I'm going to have some glass ceilings that go all the way to the top, making a kind of a little a little bit of an arc. You'll see it when I'm, when I'm done. So what I'm going to do, I got some brick going on here. What I am going to do is I'm going to make a little bit more progress on this because if you would actually see me or we would have this entire episode of me talking and trying to build, it would be a uh, terribly long episode and nothing would get done. Kind of like how what's going to happen... Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Kind of like what's going to happen right now. I'm going to be sitting here going, mm, that doesn't look good. Mm, I don't know. Mm, the thought process of Diesel. So, I will be back when I got a little more progress in hand. Oh, yeah. And hopefully when it's not raining. Again. <sighs> Alright, I'll be back in a jiff. And update time! Alright. Spend a little time on this. I'm feeling kind of good about it. Boom. I like it. I like to have the uh, three different kinds of uh, colors, textures, if you will. Like uh, the jungle wood. I have the nether quartz, of course. <laughs> nether quartz, of course, of course. Nether quartz, of course, of course. And the andesite, just to give it a little bit of uh, different tones, just to kind of like tone down the brightness. Because uh, the jungle wood, I like the texture, the, the the texture that they have on the color of it. It's kind of like a, it's got like a little bit of like a pinkish, brownish 
it's a lighter color. Tropical. You're going away. That's what the train station's here for. You're going to go on a, on a trip. An adventure. So, yes. Uh, what I got going on over here is this corner piece, which I kind of dig. I know it's kind of gaudy. And I know a lot of people don't like the, uh, the texture of glowstone, but I really like... Uh, I don't just like it. I love glowstone. Because I hate mobs, and I love the light that it gives off. And the white glass panes. I put in regular glass panes, and it just looked kind of normal looking and I was like well the white glass paint sets it off a little bit it matches the decor you know what bugs me though is how the white stained glass like the regular blocks isn't as bright as the panes I had to put the blocks here because the paints won't connect to the stairs but I think it doesn't look look half bad it kind of transitions well and uh, since it's symmetrical kind of gives it kind of like that bent in concave look a little bit in my mind anyway so yeah now, let's bring it on over, oh, yeah. parkour style. This will be the entranceway. I'm going to have a little foyer area. It's getting dark again, getting night, but at least it's not raining, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I don't like about having these villagers so close? Is that every single time I'm trying to sit here and make a decision, I feel like I'm being judged. Hmm. I really want to put that glowstone. Huh. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know about that. It's like going to dinner with my grandmother, just judging me on everything I do. Listen to that. It's exactly like going to, it's exactly like going to dinner with my grandmother. Hmm, is she good enough for you, t Jess? Is she good enough for you, Diesel? My grandmother doesn't call me Diesel. She calls me by my real name, because I'm a real boy! Now, I'm going to have andesite blocks. Uh, going around here as the base because we gotta remember we are in a rail station this is the outside look and this is going to uh, span I gotta put quartz up there I've been using so much nether quartz but we're not gonna be using a whole lot more because well, actually we are we're gonna use a bunch more um, but I'm gonna be making the roof and that's gonna be the real pain in the arse pain in the boot hey if you know what I'm saying let's get rid of that Get all this unnecessary dirt blocks. Yes. Yes. So it's going to be brick. This is going to be a waiting area. This is going to be wall. Possibly a place for like a newsstand. I'll make a newsstand instead of a bar. Because I mean, too many bars. I got a bar on my place. And since you can kind of see out, this is going to be a pillar that goes down the center. Yes. Fantastic. Because I can't have a. I just can't have a blank, blank space. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to put bang bang and then throw another glowstone in there to match the rest of the decor uh, should we put some andesite there goes along with the rest of it and then we'll put some kind of border up to the top but this is this is all gonna be beams I have a feeling I'm gonna put some jungle since we're gonna match the wood we have to match the jungle wood logs as beams and a structure for the window ceiling that's going to be going over here. It's going to be fantastic. I promise you. I promise you. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. I'm going to like it. Now that I now that I see that, I don't like the wood. I don't like the wood in that corner. I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. You know what? We'll try it out. Just try it out. All right. I will be back in a gif. And I'm back. And it is completed. Yes. I think the villagers approve. I think they approve. I think they're okay with it. I think we're going to get this down. And boom. There it is. The little lamppost to lead the way. Oh, this is his andesite. Oh, I think his time waster is down there working on a tree something or other. Details coming soon. Oh, yeah. So, this goes around the entire area. <clears throat> Just that. These pillars... These big block pillars, these, this is all one unit, I believe. This is all the foundation going into the sand. You would see in probably most homes and businesses and such and such. And we have this leading down into the iron farm, which uh, people have obviously been putting that to some good use. Mm -hmm. The glass is filled in at the top. And let me show you what it looks like on the side here. Let me go over to the side. I think this is a very good idea to put on these walls with all the different colors. 
But yes, so that goes all the way up and staggers down. Got a little bit of a modern kind of art piece. Not even art piece, but just like a structure. Uh, oh, I forgot to get rid of all the... Let me get rid of all this. All this nasty dirt. All this nasty dirt. Nasty. Um, it is late. I am tired. I've been building for a couple hours, just trying to like work things out, and it is getting close to the end. So I'm going to give you a little tour on the inside, and then we're going to peace out our show. You know what I'm saying? So let's. Let, why are two torches? Nothing bugs me more than two torches right next to each other. It's already going to be lit up. It's already going to be lit up. All right, let's go inside. Let's check this out. Like, shoot. Jungle wood, plate. I still have to get rid of all this stuff here too. But as you walk in. We have the chandelier that hangs from the center. We have jungle wood log that just goes around the border and it's held up by the jungle wood stairs. Here's a little waiting area. Got some TVs. That's what I'm gonna I'm gonna call, I'm calling them TVs, little flat screens. Show you all the news, maybe arrival times. I was gonna put one over here, but it kept on making one of those big paintings that covers eight of the uh, four by four area and it just Can I get one painting that isn't ha doesn't have a skull on it? Please. A skull, a flaming skull, really? Is that all I get in Minecraft? 4x4. Four four. So, this is the main track. I put a little palm tree to kind of give you the idea where you're going to be going. And this has the ability to be expanded just a little bit. The uh, town hall, let me put it over here. The, the hobo house is right over there. So this can be expanded out just a little bit. But uh, I hope it doesn't have to be expanded out because I really don't feel like doing it anymore. And Monkey Works trying to talk to me. Yo, I think he's shooting at me. Yeah, he's shooting at me. <laughs> and he's mad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I totally meant that, though. Don't be shooting at me. I'm trying to do a video over here. Gosh. God. Oh, now I got all these arrows in my build. That's fine. So this is the inside, and I like it. The dispenser is right over here. I'm going to put another dispenser over here, so just in case people get minecart crazy. But this does have the ability to be expanded. And uh, maybe go, maybe like, uh, do like another track, like right there. And then another track right there. Who knows? Who knows? But the possibilities be endless. Yes. As you can tell by my tire, I, I, this was kind of racking my brain today. Like, I couldn't think of something to build in this area. I was like, it's got to be a rail station. It's got to be kind of, you know, a municipal building. Because if you think about, like, Grand Central Station, it's pretty much stone. For the most part. Stone with some chairs. And I wanted to make it pretty. I wanted to make it a little bit of modern. Oh, yeah. Speaking of modern. I don't even know how that might even look. Let's see it from the other side. Let's see it from the ramp. I like it. I like it. I think I need to, it needs to be moved out one. But I don't have any quartz on me. And I don't feel like going to the nether. <laughs> I just don't feel like it. But you kind of get the gist of what I'm going for. A little bit of a modern feel to the rail station and once again you get that inside your you know technically you're indoors you're safe on the inside this is all spawn free yes yes I did ha uh, he's shooting at me again so yeah and this is no longer rated D for Death Trap. It's rated A for excellent? E for excellent. No, so your aim is very poor. He's shooting for me. He's shooting for me. Now I'm going to put some cocoa beans on this tree. Oh, you little... You little... Why you little... That's it. Look at him run away. Look at him run away. Like a scaredy cat. Like a scared monkey. Oh, I'm going to find him. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, you little coward. Shoot and run. That's it. 
Be lucky if that steed is there tomorrow. Let's see. If, uh, come on, where's he at? Uh -oh. I almost shot Verg. Where is the monkey? Would you like to see my monkey? No. It's gross. All right. I guess uh, the he who fights and runs away lives to. Oh, oh, there he is. Where's he shooting me from? He's missing me though. He's. Uh, we're tr we're trying to get a UHC going. Oh, so close. missing me like a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm focused. Where you at? Where you at? Got you. Oh, you wreck. Got you. Got you. Look at him run. This is it. Get him. Get him, zombie. Get him, zombie. I'm following you. Oh, no. Look at him run. Watch him have potions on him. Oh, yeah, that's probably where he's going. He's probably going to the potion store. Because I've been hitting him. Headshots. Oh, Verg, you almost got got. You're lucky. <laughs> like a boss. Alright guys, oh by the way, this is our potion room. This is a place where we can make uh, all kinds of potions and fun stuff and uh, fancy free. But, alright. That was it. That was interesting. He only got me in the arm. It's only a flesh wound. It's only a mere flesh wound. Yes, who's this? Silverberg, that's cool. All right, guys. My name is Diesel. I design stuff in Minecraft. You can check me out on Twitter at Diesel Designs MC. If you like this video, if you like the build, click that like button. It helps out more than you know. Oh, for high fancy. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you know you want to, and you want to see some more Craft Theory server. You want to see if I can hit Monkey again in the face with a couple arrows, which will happen. I'm gonna do it. It's not on right now. Truce. Truce has been called. But I'm going to get him. So, folks, everyone have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Peace out, like shout, and I will check you out right here next time. Bye.